Hey Pancake is we are here with a great bullet lich uh, resurrection event thing. Uh, we're doing using Benjamin for this event and he just hopped into a new game. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to place Benjamin right down here in this little corner. Then you want to place a ninja monkey. And you want to place your free glue gunner. Set your free glue gunner to last. After you place that down, you want to place an engineer monkey right there. And then go for two two zero zero farms, one right here and one right here. I will be back once I've done those. See you then. Okay, hand kickers, welcome back. Now you want to get this to a two zero one. After you've done that, you want to get this to a zero one two. And then get three more farms here, here, and here. Actually, I think it's here and here. Two more farms here and here. Uh, to two zero zeros. And then you want to get a farm in the center of that to a one zero two. After you've done that, I will be back. Welcome back, pancakes. And now you want to get this to a zero one four and set it right there for the lead waves. I will be back once I've done that and kind of passed the lead wave which should be around 28 so I'll be back on wave 29. See you then. Okay pancakes, welcome back. By the way I forgot to get my farm. Um, it doesn't matter too much what order you get these in though this will get you a bit over my gold balloon trap. Um, but I did get this immediately after I said my last thing. So don't worry. Um, but now what you want to do is get this to cat traps and get another ninja monkey down right here. Then you want to get this to a 210 and then upgrade these to uh, uh, 320s until around 33. At round 33, you want to get another farm. You want to just keep getting farms until round 36. And I'm 36, just save up for the boss, I'll see you then. Now Pancakes, make sure the farms you get are 200, and just uh, save up. Welcome back Pancakes, the first thing you want to do is get these to easy collect banana salvage and then sell them. Besides for the ones around your farm. Then you want to get a helipad here to pursue, bigger jets, and then get RK Pancake down to strong, full metal jacket, fast firing semi auto, large cow and then you want to get this to a sticky bombs, ninja discipline shop shurikens. After you've done that, you want to get another sniper down here, and you want to have it set to strong as well, and get it to this a 202. Get IFR, and then start the boss. And you're saving up to get this to a deadly precision now. After you get that to a deadly precision, what you want to do is you want to upgrade this to uh, variable bananas. And then get a plane. Get your plane right by Benjamin and set to wing monkey. Exploding pineapple. If you don't have wing monkey, you want to get somewhere like here, here, or here. Actually, don't get here or here because we're going to use those spots later. Rapid fire, lots more dots, fighter plane, spire plane. And then you want to upgrade these to banana plantations. After you've upgraded those to banana plantations, what you want to do is get this to your operation dot storm. And then just keep saving up and you want to save up for banana plantation, not banana plantation, banana resource facility. And as you see the uh, things, the boss is summoning is going down extremely quickly. And this dude's making quite a bit of money for you. You can also now get him to deconstruction so he does more damage against bosses and stuff like that. Um, yeah. This one's still setting up the cat traps. And the boss is still taking damage. I'm not sure what else to say here besides that we're going to beat this layer of the boss now. 
and you want to save it for a banana resource facility and then you want to get this to a banana resource facility and this to a 204 but get it to a 104 before a 204. After you've done that I will be back. Welcome back pancakers. Now what you want to do is you want to start getting farms and you want to get them to a 023 um, and you want to keep getting them up until wave 56. I will see you right before the boss. See you then. Hey pancakers. Now what you want to do is you want to sell every single one of these farms. And upgrade this to main mob and then uh, mob crippler. Get this to balloon liquefy with blue splatter. After you've done that get this to double shot. And then get another ninja monkey down right here. Get this one to shinobi tactics seeking so sure cat traps. Get another one here to the same thing, and you just want to surround these by four of those. And then you want to start the thing, get more cat drops on that. And you see it's taking a huge chunk to its HP. Now you want to upgrade this to a full auto rifle. It's taking a massive chunk just because we have this. Now what you also want to do is get a down draft on uh, your health pad. Keep saving up. And then get these two banana resource facilities when you can. This boss does take a little bit of time because it does have more skulls than every other boss on easy mode. Because it wants to continuously summon mobs. And honestly, I think that's a good thing. Because if it didn't, if it had, um, if it had, uh, less skulls in the same amount, they'd probably on average summon more mobs that you'd have to deal with. So you'd probably just need something like a balloon solver by that point. Okay, well, what you want to do now is get a banana resource facility. Get a village right here. Should be buffing this village, so you should be able to fit a farm right here. Upgrade this farm to a banana resource facility and then upgrade this to a monkeyopolis. After you've done that, place another farm here, make it a 0, 2, 3. And then try to get banana plantations where these three farms are and where this one is. Um, then I will be back after you've done that. I'll see you then. Welcome back pancakers. Now what you want to do is you want to get a sniper monkey right here. And then get it to bouncing bullet. Then you want to upgrade this to a support chinook and upgrade this to a supply drop. Then get another sniper right here and another sniper right here. Both to supply drops. You can also get one right behind this due to stuff I drop, which you should do too. After you've done that, you want to save up for the next boss. And make sure to use your abilities when you can. See you then. Okay, Pancakers, welcome. Uh, right before the boss now. And what we're going to do here is get an Elite Sniper. Set it back to first. Get this to Elite Defender set to Elite. After you've done that, you want to get a Spike Factory right here. And you want to get to white hot spikes and then spike storm copper spikes. After you've done that, you want to get this to primary mentoring, Rego uh, blocker, Rego scanner, and then start the boss. And then you want to get this to your primary expertise. Use this ability when you can because it will just allow you to do a lot more damage. And then save up for a balloon solver. After you get Balloon Solver, you want to get some of the free Dart Monkeys. You want to get one here. One here. One over here. You could also get one there if you wish. You just need to make sure it's in range of this. And then one right up here. You want five total. Upgrade this to a crossbow master. Upgrade this one to a crossbow master. Make sure to continue using your abilities.
Then um, upgrade this to uh, Ultra Juggernaut with quick shots, very quick shots. As you see, the boss is going down decently quickly. Now you want to slow down the pace and upgrade these to your advanced eyesight triple shots. And then save up to get this to Monkey Fan Club before getting a tax shooter down here and getting it to an overdrive. After you get to an overdrive, get uh, three more uh, attack shooters. This one should be upgraded to a blade shooter, blade mouse strong, uh, even faster firing. This one should be super range and then ring of fire. And then this one should be another overdrive or fast firing. Make sure to use your mouse drum's ability when you can because it'll do a lot of extra damage. Get this to a central market. After you've gotten that to a central market, get a monkey buccaneer down here and get to a favorite traits. After you do that, get another monkey buccaneer there and another one over here. Then get a monkey submarine. You're getting these two so you know where the submarine will actually fit. And you're getting it through plutonium reactive bob dots, heat tip dots. You're upgrading this one to a destroyer, aircraft carrier, hot shots. And you should be upgrading this one to a monkey pirate's long range crow's nest. And what you're going to do is you're going to save up money. First get this to a trade empire and then save up to get this to a monkey wall street. And then this to a banana central. After you've done that, what you want to do is, you, yeah, you just want to save up for Monkey Wall Street and the Banana Central. I will be back once I've done that. See you then. Welcome back, Pancakers. Now what you want to do is you want to upgrade this to, not that one. You want to upgrade this to a Special Operations. And then upgrade this to a Plasma Monkey Fan Club. After you've done that, you just want to get, um, four, wait, zero, two, four, banana farms down and you want to get them down until wave 95 and during wave 95 afterwards you just want to save up for the next boss i'll see you then okay pancakers welcome back the first thing you want to do is sell every single one of these farms after you've done that you want to upgrade this to a plasma monkey fan club not plasma monkey fan club apex plasma master don't invest any money in it uh didn't get grand monster ninja and Master Bomber, after you've done that, get Blink Sabotage, Great Sabotage. Get a Scythe Shredder. Get another plane down here. If you don't have Wing Monkey here, it's fine. Because you're just getting a Spectre Flying Fortress, which just has Center Path, and we're going to keep on that. Then you want to get to Rapid Fire, lots more dots. And then get another one down here to Wing Monkey, and then get to Zar Bomber, Rapid Fire, lots more dots. After you've done that, get XXL trap and then start the thing. And we're gonna save up for attack zone now. After you get the attack zone, you wanna get more farms to banana research facilities. You can use your abilities too to do a lot more damage. Get them to banana salvage. Because we will be eventually selling these very soon. Not very soon, but soon enough you don't really want to upgrade them down the other path. As you see, the boss is taking a ton of damage. But 
the other thing is we're in slow mode, which means it was taking this much damage in, um, well, I guess it's not slow mode. We went in fast forward. So it's just taking that much damage naturally. Okay, now you want to keep getting the banana research facilities until around 100 or 12 or until you filled your entire screen with them. Then save up until around 100 and like right after 119 because that's right before the next boss. I'll see you then. Okay, Pancakers, welcome back. The first thing you want to do is sell every single farm on screen. I will be back once I've sold those. <laughs> okay, Pancakers, I am back. The next thing you want to do is get Goliath Doom Ship. Then upgrade this to a carrier flagship, this to a pirate lord, and this to an energizer. Then upgrade this to the Naviaka of the Seas. After you've done that, you want to upgrade this to a paragon, put all of your rest of your remaining money in it, and then just start the boss and watch it die. Make sure to use this ability when it's just taking us a uh, skull. And you can also use these abilities. As you see, I'm doing a lot less damage than, uh, well not a lot less damage, but I'm doing less damage than some might think. And now it's to its next go. But I, you can save it for a Super Mastrum if you want. You don't need it in the slightest, but if you get one, it's still nice because it's a little bit of extra damage output. Now you can use this again, and it will do a lot of damage to the boss, bring it down almost an entire, like half, entire half a skull. If it ever summons a bad, you can always use this ability to destroy it. And as you see, the boss is just kind of dying extremely quickly. I'm going to wait for it to get, to get its skull down. And now I'm going to use this ability when it becomes visible again. Vincible. Yeah, Vincible. And the boss is basically dead now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was um, informative on how to beat this one. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Ring that bell notification for uh, to see my most recent videos and keep up to date with my videos. And have an amazing day, everyone. Bye-bye.